Okay, let's unbox the 200 milliwatt um, video transmitter, 900 megahertz from Hobby King. Here it comes in a lovely box. Look at this box. It's such a shiny box. It's beautiful, isn't it? No, what am I talking about? This isn't one of those other review shows. This is the one that gives you the facts, not the gloss. Well, here we go. Inside we have a little receiver. This receiver is the same as on the 1500 milliwatt version. I'll just take it out of its little bubble bag for you. As you can see, it's a, uh, it calls itself a digital display 12 channel receiver. So there you go. It has buttons for going up and down channels when you're selecting the receiver channel. It has a uh, input there for, uh, what is it, 12 volts DC. And negative on the outside, by the way, positive to the pin in the middle. It's got a video output and it's got an audio output. On the top, it has a connector for the antenna. And that's fairly straightforward. There's not a lot else. It's a little, I think, is that a reset? There's a little reset button in here by the feel of it. Don't know what that is. A little button in there, probably to reset it. But we'll find out when we do the full test. So there it is. Now, underneath this cardboard, there's probably some more bits and pieces. Here we go. We have some antennas. And these are just your standard 900 megahertz antennas. They're different. The bases are different. One is obviously for the receiver, one for the transmitter. The receiver has a much smaller thread, and the transmitter has a bigger diameter. So they go with that. And here is the actual transmitter itself. The 200 milliwatt, milliwatt one is tiny. It's just a little wee tiny transmitter. I'll try and get the plastic off. Here we go. Everything wrapped in the usual Hobby King bubble wrap bags. Here it is. This is the little tiny 200 milliwatt transmitter. You can see that's very, very small, very light. But of course, the downside of that is it looks really great there. But if we take the antenna that's for for use with this particular transmitter. One of the downsides of 900 megahertz is that you have to have bigger antennas. So the antenna dwarfs the transmitter. Let me screw this on here. Here we go. Look at that. Tiny little receiver. Huge antenna. So that's, um, it's not very straight is it? So that's going to mean the, the antenna is actually several times heavier than the transmitter. So I'm going to show you how to make a much lighter antenna aerial for your 900 megahertz transmitter to get rid of this huge weight because these look like they'll be ideal for small models. Maybe the AXM floater, the little AXM floater, or maybe even the new Kinetic 800 if you wanted to stick one in there. Very small, very light, very good for that kind of small model. Now also in the box we get an AV lead. This is a twin lead with RCA connectors. One, the yellow is for video, the white is for audio enables you to connect this receiver to your FPV glasses or to your video recorder, whatever you want to hook it up to. Then we have the power wiring, okay? We've got JST connector for your LiPo battery. This will go into the camera, I think, if I look at it. No, this might go into the, goes into the transmitter lead. See this, up? I hadn't looked at this before. There's a little plug that plugs into your transmitter lead like so, other end, goes into the camera because you get a camera too. Look at this. Now, unfortunately, they didn't have a PAL version of the 200, so I had to get the NTSC version. So this camera will be pretty much useless to me, but I wanted the transmitter, so I had to buy it anyway. Here's the little NTSC camera. Now, I'll be reviewing these because I'm reviewing a number of cameras. So this is a very cheap, cheap camera, and I think it performs like it. Big problems with cheap cameras isn't so much the resolution, the sharpness of the image, it's the fact that when you're dealing with the very, very hostile conditions that you find on FPV, we have got a bright sky and a dimly lit ground, the, color, the, the whole thing seems to go black, black or it goes excessively bright. There's very poor contrast control with these cheap little cameras. Also, it doesn't even have a lens cover, but who cares? Uh, that is the camera, that's the wiring. There's another lead here, which is for something. I think it's if you want to use this camera with your own wiring loom, you can plug it into the lead from the, from the transmitter there. So we'll be testing all that out, seeing how well it works. Just to give you a comparison, I have down here beside me, excuse me while I vanish from your point of view for a moment, I have the 1500 milliwatt transmitter, which I talked about in my weekly news video. Excuse all the noise, we've got helicopters and all sorts of things flying around here. This is an airfield after all. Now, do a comparison here. Let's look at the difference between these transmitters. We can see that the 200 milliwatt is tiny compared to the 1500 milliwatt, which is to be expected. It's also much lighter, but uses the same antenna, so that's where all the weight is. We'll be making a quarter wave whip for this transmitter, so it should turn out much, much lighter. We'll be doing the range test, the flight test, as soon as the wind abates here, you'll be able to see just how well they perform, because some people, as I mentioned in my last video, some people have found that these 900 milliwatt systems 
um, don't seem to give you a very good quality picture. And I'm wondering whether it's because the transmission and receiver are not well matched. I mean, for example, this is a 12 channel receiver. It means it works on 12 different frequencies, but the transmitters appear to only be a four channel system. They have little switches here that enable you to switch between any one of four channels. So why would you make a 12 channel receiver with a four channel transmitter? Perhaps they didn't. Perhaps someone got a receiver from here and a transmitter from over here, stuck them together and said, we've got a package for you. Anyway, I'll tell you, that's unboxing the 900 megahertz video transmitter receivers from Hobby King. Stay tuned for the full review.